Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun interactive card for you today. It has a little corgi blowing around across the card. This is called a spinner card. And it has that fan image, so I thought that would be fun to have our little guy spinning across the card. Um, I'm using Glad We're Friends. I've got three projects over on a blog post on my blog. If you're looking for more ideas, click the link here on YouTube and hop over to my blog to see the others. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is stamp and color our little corgi and fan. All right, and I'm just gonna stamp him on thick white in memento ink. And we're gonna color him in smoky slate. And I'm gonna do smoky slate light. You wanna leave the inside section white and just do his outside two sections in the light. My mom has a corgi. She's not gray though. She's orange, but we're going to do gray this time. Corgis are such funny, funny dogs. If you've never been around a corgi, they are weird and silly and fun all at the same time. All right, I'm gonna take the dark and I'm just gonna go along this line right here, add a little bit of shading. Like this. And then we'll take that light and blend that out. And over here, do the same. All right, now for her ears and her tongue, I'm using Flirty Flamingo Light. And I'm gonna take my color lifter and remove some of that color from the outside of the ear so it gets lighter, it goes lighter to dark down the bottom. Oh, don't forget her little tongue. I always do that forget that part. All right, for the fan, I am using So Saffron. And we're gonna color in the body of the fan. And the this part, I don't know what you would call this part, the caging around the fan maybe, we're gonna do that yellow. And the little streamers that are blowing as well. Now I'm going to come back with my light uh, smoky slate and just fill that part in there. All right, now there are no dies for these images, but that's okay. We've got our scissors. So I'm going to cut away all that excess cardstock. Get that out of here. And then we're just going to go slowly around the outside of our little corgi. And she's got some kind of stray hairs poking up, so I'm just gonna kind of stay in a smooth line and not necessarily go around all of them. Just trying to keep it simple as I cut around. Leaving just a little bit of a white border. All right, now for the fan, these little lines right here I'm gonna cut off, but I am gonna leave those little streamers. All right, and don't try to get too close. You wanna stay kind of on the outside of each one. My own dogs are in here. They think that they need to be part of the video, I guess, today. I don't know why they keep <laughs> shaking and shaking their ears. They want you to know they're here, I guess. All right, around we go. There we go. Okay, we've got the fan and the corgi. All right, to make this little part right here, you're going to need a long, skinny die. And I'm going to use this one. This is from the Sending Smiles dies. And I've got a strip of mint macaron. I'm gonna stick that right in the middle, kind of towards the left side. We're gonna to have to go through here twice. 
And if you're worried about it getting crooked, grab some post-it tape and stick that in place. Okay, to make it go a little bit further down, I am gonna take it and I'm gonna stick that in just so that it matches and it just extends a little bit. Okay, so see how that's gonna cut just a little bit more. But you wanna make sure that you get that in there so that it's exactly like the other one. And then just go a little ways in. You don't have to go all the way down, just enough to get that little notch cut out. All right, so we've extended that like that. Okay, so now let's start putting our card together. I have a mint macaron card base, and I've got some of our new Cottage Gingham DSP. Both sides are cute. I think I'm gonna use the big gingham. Okay, and then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna put this down here at the bottom, but I've also got this scalloped um, border, and I think I'm gonna put this down first. Put that down here like this. Let's go a little bit lower, right there. And then for this one, we're gonna wanna do dimensionals. And you want to leave space here because we're gonna use pennies to make our roller and it needs to be able to roll through here. So I'm gonna use some of our foam adhesive strips. Okay. to hold this down. And then I think just for good measure, we'll put a dimensional on either end. All right, now remove that backing. And we're gonna put that centered right over that scallop like that, okay? So now for our corgi, you're gonna need two pennies and some mini dimensionals. So stick one dimensional in there and then the other one, stack it right on top. We're creating a little bit of space there. And then put that there. And this is your slider mechanism. So slide it, that bottom one. Well, let's try that again. We don't want that to happen. We've got that one in there, so we'll just stack that one right on top like that. And that's how your corgi is going to slide. All right, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of my liquid Tombow, put that on that top penny like that, and we'll put him right there. All right, now for our fan, we're gonna adhere that over here on one end, like that. So that's blowing him around. And then I have a couple of So Saffron hearts that I've cut from the Give It A Whirl dies. And we'll put those down here to cover up this end. like that. All right, now let's set that aside for a few minutes and let's do the sentiment. I wanted to use some pennants so they kind of look like maybe they were blowing in the wind also. And we're gonna use this sentiment, I'm blown away by you, but we're gonna do some masking, okay? I, don't, I want to stamp the blown away and the by you separately. So memento black, remove your post-it tape pieces and stamp that. 
Now clean it off really well. And this time take your post-it note and cover everything else up except for the by you. Okay. And we're gonna stamp that separately right there. Now we're gonna use these two dies to cut these apart separately. All right, bring over your cut and emboss machine and let's cut these out. These are the pennant dies from our stylus shape die set. And we're gonna adhere these, but we need to cut them a little bit shorter. On our card, so just snip that a little bit. And this one goes up here on top. And this one, we need to snip this one too. Goes down here, overlapping a bit. All right, now last but not least, let's add a few of these little heart pearls over here. These are so stinking cute. These are pearls that are shaped like a heart. There we go. Now let's see how he's doing. There we go. Very cute. Now, on the inside, you just want to adhere a four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic white. And there you have it. Now make sure you hop over to my blog and grab that free PDF. Um, it's got all the measurements as well as two other Glad with Friends projects. Thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.